Hello everyone, that manga kid here to just give my thoughts on The Book of Human Insects by Osamu Tezuka. This is a vertical release. Um, vertical kind of does its own sizes and things for everything, so there's nothing really to compare this size to unless you own other things by vertical. Um, this is the same size as uh, MW, which I have reviewed before as well. Um, I also have Lychee Light Club and Dream Fossil that are the same size as this book. It's slightly shorter than like a Viz Signature, but still taller than a regular sized manga. Um, my only complaint with this is again another Osama Tezuka work that has been flipped to read in the English direction. I really don't like it when publishers do that. I really prefer to read in the Japanese direction. Um, but other than that, this is a really gorgeous release. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's high quality. Um, I just wish it wasn't flipped. But anyway, so this series is basically about this woman who feeds off of the talents of others for her own personal gain. Um, is the best way I could describe it. I don't want to give too many spoilers or anything, but basically this famous woman um, just kind of takes ideas from everybody else and has become famous on this, using that as her as her thing that she just does. Um, you know, she's, a, she's an award-winning author and actress and she might even be a singer, I don't know. She does a bunch of different things, and she, she constantly is taking from other people in order to achieve these great heights um, and fame. And it's basically just her slowly psychologically deteriorating um, and the people around her reacting to how she's become famous and constantly more and more people realizing um, in her life how she uses people. So it, there's a bit of uh, politics in here. There's a bit of um, like kind of romance-ish, but not really, um, and other things. But like this is a really, really good book. I didn't like it as much as MW because I really loved that, but this is like really close after it. Um, the art is the same. I got to check to make sure I'm not showing anything explicit here, so I'll just... Like, here's a page here. Um, Osama Tezuka's art is just amazing. Um, the backgrounds, the buildings and stuff, when, when that kind of stuff happens, is just really, really cool. Like, there's a boat. I love the art. And there's lots and lots of dialogue. This takes quite a while to read. Um, so you're kind of in for it when you start going. It's thicker than a regular volume and there is quite a bit of dialogue and you really do have to pay attention uh, to what's going on to really get grasp the whole story. Um, but definitely if you're interested in things like... Um, it kind of reminds me of Helter Skelter, Fashion Unfriendly by Kyoko Okazaki. Uh, it, it ha the, the main character has a similar feel to that woman in that story as well. Um, there's lots of differences. Obviously, this is a very different book, but the main character of this this book does remind me of the woman from uh, Helter Skelter. Um, if you're into Osamu Tezuka, obviously pick this up. If you're into one-shots um, that are just all in one story, definitely pick this up. If you like deep stories that really go into a plot and characters and and really dive into the psyche of a character, this is amazing. Definitely, definitely t uh, check this out. Um, it was a wild ride, just like MW. Like I love these uh, when Osama Tezuka did um, more mature works. They always turn out really well, as far as I've uh, read. But definitely recommend picking up the Book of Human Insects if you haven't already. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about it or if you've read it and want to chat about it in the comments, definitely let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.